Curitiba is the capital city of Brazil's southern state of Paraná, a city of nearly 2 million inhabitants, widely recognized for its well-run local government and high quality of life. It is a city that pays a lot of attention to the environment and wants to look at the environment as a strategy for living. We have an urban planning that has a tradition of over 50 years moving in the same direction. Life in Curitiba today is largely credited to the pioneering work of urban planner and politician Jaime Lerner, who served three terms as mayor, the first in 1971, and also governed the state of Paraná for two terms. CGTN interviewed him in 2014 in the run-up to the World Cup held in Brazil with matches held in Curitiba. Lerner passed away last year. There are some issues that make the difference which is good quality of life, good solutions on public transport and sustainability. His daughter now leads the Jaime Lerner Institute, which manages the architect's legacy and facilitates the sharing of experiences with other cities across the globe. Talks about sustainability began in Curitiba at a time when the word sustainability didn't even exist. The actions my father took were a response to actual issues faced by the city. So since that time, sustainability is seen as a response to actual problems, not just as a theory. Sound and consistent public policies have been essential to make Curitiba an international reference in sustainability and urban planning. But there are also historic reasons in the city's development that helped it to reach this position. This historian says that the way Curitiba developed in the 19th century, with a focus on settlers and away from the slave-run plantations common in other parts of the country, may have played an important part in creating a stronger sense of belonging here. O sul do Brasil é, é, faz parte do Brasil e, e tem os mesmos problemas que o restante do Brasil, né? The south of Brazil is part of Brazil and faces the same problems as the rest of the country, but maybe to a lesser degree. This may have to do with the fact that the settlement here was more based on the arrival of migrants to whom land was sold to foster the establishment of small family farms. Curitiba still has many issues to deal with when it comes to sustainability and the environment. But the city's achievements prove that good planning can go a long way to making a good city. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Curitiba, Brazil.